<laughs> Hi, welcome to our Memento Mori channel. I'm Claire, and today we're going to look at what it means to be a consecrated virgin in the Catholic Church. But before we start, please remember to like and subscribe and support our channel. Links to the Declara shop where you can buy a veil is available in the description below. You know, because I handle these beautiful veils every day, it's easy for me to take them for granted. So when I get sent pictures like this of a beautiful young lady wearing one of my Declara veils at a key moment in her life, it kind of reminds me how blessed I am to be able to be part of people's lives in this small way. This lovely lady here is Heather. Heather, or should I say Dr. Heather, is a professor of physics, astronomy and astrophysics at the University of Mary in North Dakota. One afternoon in 2019, when she was praying before the Blessed Sacrament, she experienced a pivotal moment in her spiritual life. She asked Jesus, is there anything you want to say to me? His answer was there loud and clear, be mine. So she started discerning religious life to become a nun. She loved the sisters everywhere she went to visit, but never felt called to leave the world and enter a convent. So she started learning about different options, and this is when she discovered consecrated virginity. Everything about it lit my heart up, she said. I read everything I could about it and met with other consecrated virgins. I knew this was where I was being called to, to be a witness of God's love in the midst of the world, a bride of Christ. So what exactly is a consecrated virgin? Long before the emergence of religious life, consecrated virgins and widows had a distinctive identity in the early church. However, as religious communities of monks and nuns gradually became the norm, these ancient orders began to disappear. In the early 20th century, a few women began to rediscover this ancient way of life, but it was felt at the time that this was an outdated idea that had no place in the modern world. It was only in 1963 that the Second Vatican Council requested a revision of the right of the consecration of virgins found in the Roman Pontifical. The revised right was approved by Pope Paul VI and published in 1970. Consecrated virgins today are women who have never married and are consecrated to perpetual virginity, to a life of prayer and penance and to the service of the church under the guidance of their local bishop. Because consecrated virgins have no rule or community, own their own property and take care of themselves, it is particularly important that those who are discerning this state of life are emotionally mature and self-reliant women. Heather's rite of consecration took place during Mass, following the Gospel reading. Her bishop asked her if she was ready to make her solemn consecration, and after accepting, she lay prostrate on the floor in front of the altar as the congregation sang the Litany of the Saints. She said, I received a ring and veil symbolising marriage, as well as a copy of the Liturgy of the Hours. As St Agnes once said, I'm a spouse to him whom the angels serve. Sun and moon stand in wonder at his glory. As a consecrated virgin, I am asked to participate in the morning and evening prayer of the Liturgy of the Hours, as well as daily Mass and a daily Holy Hour as often as possible. I incorporate into my daily intentions prayers for the Pope, my Bishop, the priests and religious of the diocese and the whole world. This calling means that I get to be Jesus' bride for eternity. I am fully his and he is fully mine, and I am fully available to him. Jesus is by my side, holding my hand in everything that I do and encounter. I am looking forward to the graces that I will receive throughout my life as a consecrated virgin, such as the opportunities I will have to show others the heart of Jesus, through the love of the heart of the church. Today there are currently approximately 5,000 consecrated virgins worldwide. If you feel called to this way of life, perhaps go and talk to your priest or bishop and they will be able to put you in touch with other consecrated virgins. If you enjoyed this video, please share it on your social media and don't forget to like and subscribe.